Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 24th, and last night I got to hear the sermon from church because I missed it from being on vacation and work. So it was about a verse in Luke and in John um, where Peter denies Jesus three times and um, Jesus is, a, is taken away and is about to be sentenced and put to death and there's people that recognize Peter and they say oh aren't you with Jesus and he um, he says no that he doesn't know him and uh, it says after those three times he saw the Lord and the Lord looked at him and um, Peter it clicked that he he had denied um, Jesus three times and Jesus had said that he was going to and, and Peter was thinking like no I'll go to prison with you I'll I'll be there till the end and so everything clicked and Peter just went away and started um, weeping bitterly it said so uh, Jesus dies and so I can't imagine in Peter's mind just it's like someone that you love that you let down and then they're no longer there and so I can't imagine the pain that he felt but Jesus comes back and uh, it says that um, Peter went away and went fishing uh, one night and all of a sudden in the morning they didn't catch anything and there's this man on the shore and he said did you guys catch anything and they said no and he said put your nets to the other side the right side of the boat and Jesus had done this when he first met Peter and called him into ministry and they caught an abundance of fish just like the last time and so they knew it was Jesus and it says that Peter left out of the boat and went swimming to, to Jesus and it's so beautiful because Jesus went to find him he found him on the beach and he reinstates him by asking him three questions of um, asking about his love and he um, allows allows Peter to change his ways and his um, his denial and he says yes I love you Lord three times and uh, and then Jesus prepares him for his ministry again and I just love I just love that whole story I love how Jesus goes it says Jesus made him breakfast and he cares for our physical needs and our spiritual needs and he comes after us and rescues us and offers us time after time his grace is unlimited and I just love that that is who Jesus is and I love that he comes for us I love that he rescues us I love that he fights for us and um, I love that he even uses our failures and makes them into something beautiful and redeems them and um, I just love that story with Peter and he goes on and um, I mean he's it says he's the rock um, and it's so cool to read in Acts all of the miracles and um, just how connected he is with the Holy Spirit and um, he's not perfect but he he really gets it it clicks and I just I just love that story. So I pray that encourages you this morning. I pray that you would know that um, Jesus is fighting for you, that he's on your side, and uh, that he, love, he loves you more than you can imagine. And um, nothing you do or don't do can separate you from him. He sees the best in you always, and, um, and he's always there just with open arms.